Hey everyone, it's Kayla Ashley Plans, and today I'm going to be doing my November bullet journal. First, I'm going to flip through my October bullet journal. This is what I have so far. If you're interested in seeing it more in depth, I will post the video that I did on it in the description box. And my Instagram is also on the screen so that you can see pictures. I also am doing an October lettering challenge on the Instagram as well. Um, but this is what my setup looks like in October. I enjoyed it, but there were some things that I wanted to change, so I implemented those changes for this month, and we'll get right into it after you see this. So for this month's theme, I decided to do Lilo and Stitch, and the reason why I'm doing a Lilo and Stitch theme is because I was trying to do something more creative than a Thanksgiving or fall theme, and I thought of family because that's the first thing that I'm thankful for, and when I thought of family, I thought of Lilo and Stitch because of this quote. So I started off these spreads with the Ohana means family quote, and I used my Limome brush pen and then my Tombow Budanowski soft brush pen. For the next page, I did Aloha November and I drew a picture of Lilo and Stitch. To draw the picture, I printed out a picture of Lilo and Stitch and then I put it under the bullet journal and traced it. And then I went over it with my Muji pen. For the Aloha November font, I just looked up uh, Lilo and Stitch font and I basically just did my best with copying the fonts onto the page and I used the same font throughout the rest of the spreads. To color Lilo and Stitch in, I used the Crayola Super Tip Markers, which I think are perfect for bullet journaling because they don't bleed through the pages and they're really easy to use. My next spread is my November at a glance spread. For my overviews for the month, I like to do a list layout instead of making a calendar. I just find that it works better for me. But something that I changed this month is I did two lines for each day. And since November had only 30 days, it was really easy to split this up evenly. So I use one section for events and then the next for homework and tests. And this is how I keep track of everything that I have going on. To add to the spread, I did little Lilo footprints going along the bottom of it, and then I used my Muji pen to outline all the lines. I don't recommend using the Muji gel pen because it does not dry as fast as I thought it would, and markers make it smudge. But what I did is I just did the day with the first letter, and then I did the number going down the side, and that's how I'm keeping track of what day of the month it is. To stay consistent with the theme, I also used my Limon brush pen and my Tombow brush pen to add color to these columns. The next spread is a 30 things to be thankful spread. So this is like a one line a day spread, except I just made it more Thanksgiving related. And what I did is I created kind of like a parchment paper design and I just split up all of the lines into 15 sections and then each side has a day. And this is how I'm going to keep track of the 30 things that I'm thankful for for the month. As you saw in my October bullet journal flip through, I like to track my moods doing this layout. And that's because I can just write down whatever emotion I'm feeling that day and I can be creative and practice my lettering as well. So I started out with a silhouette of Stitch and I just outlined moods in the same font 
and then what I'm gonna do is just use the blue pens and just write down my moods for the next spread I'm starting a new workout log spread and my boyfriend and I like to work out at least four to five times a week so I'm trying to track what we're doing each day at the gym to do this I'm doing a calendar spread and I'll just write what we do in the boxes I'm not gonna go too in-depth I'm just gonna say if it was like leg day arm day anything like that and then I'm going to do a progress log on the next page and this progress log is gonna have a picture of me from November 1st and then a picture from November 30th so that I can see if I see any changes in my body and then I also have a scale log underneath that the scale log is for me to write down my weight and my body fat percentage and my skeletal mass per or muscle percentage because my boyfriend has this fancy scale that tracks all of that so I just figured it'd be nice to see my improvement but I'm doing it by week so I have five here because November consists of five weeks to add color to this simple spread I just used my brush pens to add drop shadow and this is how it turned out this month I decided I wanted to utilize a Dutch door spread because I had never done that before but I just wanted to see how it works for me. I started out with these silhouettes of stitch at the top and then of a Hawaiian flower and basically at the top I will have my habits for the month and then the Dutch door will consist of my weekly layouts and this is so I can see all of my habits every day and I won't forget to do them and I think tracking my habits makes me more accountable for them and I'm more likely to complete them if I see them every day. So I just made a simple graph at the top where I listed all the habits and then I numbered all of the spaces from 1 to 30. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like a circle or an X when I complete the habit on that day. For the weekly spread, I wanted to do a this week column on the left side where I can put any events or meetings that I have and then a next week column on the next side so that I can see what's coming up for the next week. But in the individual days that I'm putting in the middle of the spread, I'm going to list any homework or tasks that I have to do. So that's it for this month's bullet journal. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite spread that I did was. I had a really good time doing this theme because it was different and it was more of a challenge for me to draw all of these. Also, make sure that you please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!